That is true. Student portal is down. <laughs> no, but even if you, how would you know where I put the point? How would you know? You keep track of every single thing on it? Yeah, yeah. No. it's morbid. I don't even look at my grade. I've saved it. I would never do that. That would be really like, uh, what's the word? That would be really me. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I hope I get, you know. People I got like, points, got points. I hope you know that I probably like put something in the tissue and then like you put it on your nose and then like your nose is stained, like an expo marker. <laughs> like, so like, You're talking more like a poison. I was going to die. Um, That's a good point. Uh, that would be horrible. Um, not to live for these days. All right. Um, anyways. Um, okay. What's the last thing we have? Just practice problems like that? Yeah. Okay. So the last thing about heat and energy on the back of the reference tables. On the back of the reference table. Very back. Oh, not table I. Just very back. Table S. Oh, table T is there. What is table T? Oh, T. I forgot there was a T. I'm sorry. Table T. Very bad. All the fun math equations. Uh, oh, I don't uh, 19 years? Actually, that's not true. What are they, 2011 edition? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just kidding. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but trust me, the, the letter of the reference table is uh, not an important thing in my life. Um, so, it's the last page. All the chemical, sorry, mathematical equations. Guess which ones we're going to learn right now? All of them. Density. No, I'm just Mole calculation. The heat ones, right. Very good. One of them looks like it says cat. <laughs> heat formulas. Here we go. Now, in lab, what are we currently learning about? I don't know, to be honest. No, we will be. Heat, like we made those weird wide chart thing. Come on. Today? I mean, we did something on the The solid liquid gas. Gas log, right? Oh, yeah, triple point. Triple yeah. point. That's what it was. Yep. Who's got it? What's the name of those things? Those wide things. Uh, the diagram. Phase diagram. Phase diagram. Phase diagram, right. So this um, this has nothing to do with phase diagram. I don't know why I'm But this does, the, these formulas do have to do with phase changes. So you're going to learn the next lab, or the next activity in lab. We're going to do a lab in the back. It's going to be super exciting. You're going to melt ice and boil the water. Um, that's the last. I can't wait. I'm actually um, kind of excited. <laughs> so, um, you know, what's that phrase? A watched pot never boils? Mm -hmm. Yep, well, you're going to prove that wrong because you're going to stare at it and watch it boil. Um, so, I mean, you don't have to, but what's that? I thought we did that. We watched water boil. You did. In the fume hood, I boiled acetone and water, but in the lab, you're going to see. So, what you're going to do in lab, stay with me. Up here. <laughs> Don't write this, just, just watch. You're going to end up learning about something that looks like this. It's a little staircase. Well, this staircase is called, uh, you know what? Go ahead, write this down. What the heck? I'll, I'll introduce this now. <laughs> we'll pick up with this in lab. Okay, so this draw. This is a weird staircase. So, two platforms and then three diagonal or more vertical areas. So, each one is a different segment. If you want to throw uh, X and Y axis on there, that doesn't hurt. Bless you. So right here would be A, here would be B, C, D, E, and F. Just I'm kind of thinking this through out loud with you. Uh, in order to teach the formulas, I'm going to briefly explain what this is, and then in lab you'll learn more detail. Um, if this thing is called a heating curve, and kids always get frustrated with that. Meaning. Why? I it's, not a curve. it's not a curve, but it's called a curve. So um, this is called a heating curve. And you have five sections, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, and E, F. Something different happens at each section. I will briefly explain that, and then I will use that to teach those three formulas on the back of the reference table. Reference table T. All right, now, A to B, ooh, I got a better idea. Down here, label time. Hopefully you made it large enough to label at least symbols. Oh. What kind of symbol? What kind of symbol? Like an S. It would have been really cool if you said that as you were writing. It's more fun to do it now. Now. I think we should all protest. This is temperature. <laughs> A. And my scale is going to be completely screwed up, but that's okay. So A is negative 10 degrees Celsius. B 
to C is 0 degrees Celsius. Again, ignore the scale, just for introduction here. D to E is 100 degrees Celsius. And then F, trying to get that fairly straight if I can, F will say is 110. So yes, from 0 to 100 is all screwed up. That's fine. Just the, the point of learning this, that's good enough for now. So, on a heating curve, you have five segments. A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, and E, F. This heating curve shows a substance changing from a solid to a gas with all the intermediate parts. So if I told you A to B, this substance is a solid, and E to F, the substance is a gas, could you fill in the other three segments, B, C, C, D, and D, E? Not out loud right now, just think for 30 seconds or so. Could you label correctly what phase or what's happening, what process is happening at B, C, C, D, and D, E? By the way, this is water, that's why I picked those temperatures. So this is a heating curve for water. Water is a solid between negative 10 and 0. Water is a gas, anything above 100. What about in between? So could you label these segments, just three, right now if I called on you, figure it out, without giving you any other prompts or any help? No, probably not. Some of you might have been thinking while I was talking, which I hope so. Does anyone want to help us? Or um, should it be to C be melting? Very good, yes. B to C, only B. Okay. B to C is melting, good job. Continue. Like um, C to D is liquid. C to D is a liquid. I love that. Very good. Uh, D to E is, um, is it called sublimation? Something like sublimation that? is solid to gas. Oh, condensation. No, the other way. It's evaporation. There we go. Close. Right? Boiling. <laughs> you, you almost had it. Two out of three ain't bad. That's an old song. Um, now, melting, liquid, and boiling. Very, oh, boiling. Good. Good. So to go from a solid to a liquid, you must melt. To go from a liquid to a gas, yes, you can evaporate. But if it's water and it's at 100, it's going to be boiling at standard pressure. So this is almost all you need to know about a heating curve for the region. So you're gonna learn more in lab, but I needed to introduce this to teach the three equations. So from A to B, where water is below zero, it's ice, that's solid. If it's at zero, it is melting and doing nothing else. If it's between zero and 100, it's always a liquid. And if it's at 100 exactly, it's boiling, nothing else. And then above 100, it's a gas. So one thing I do wanna emphasize here, these two sections here, are flat. What does that mean? They're the same, aren't they? They're changing. They can go either way. Look at the y-axis. What's happening at those two flat sections? The temperature stays the same. Good. Temperature stays the same. Give, give, give me another way to explain that. Temperature is constant. constant. Good. Why? I showed you with the graph on the uh, Chromebook when I was boiling those two liquids. You saw it go up, go up, go up, and then it leveled off while it was boiling and it never went up again. Why? Because it's not changing. It's, 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 it's reached its boiling point and it releases all its energy. Extra energy into the vapor. Well, that's that explains boiling. Boiling stays constant because all the extra goes away with the vapor. I think you guys, it seems like as a class, we get that. What's going on here? How come when you melt? So if I'm holding an ice cube and there's a thermometer frozen in the ice cube. As that ice cube melts, the thermometer reads zero the entire time until it's all liquid. Well, because there's still it's not gonna read it because there's still something that is that temperature that's in the Good. Yes, I'll kind of rephrase that, but because as long as there's ice particles, the temperature won't go above zero. And the reason for that, and what Paul said is right, I'm just gonna add to it, the reason for that is any extra energy that would cause the temperature to go up can't be used to increase the temperature. It's being used to melt the solid. So the whole handshaking thing with Ryan is a force. Well, when solids are hand shaking hands are really close. 
when they start to melt, they're still shaking hands. They're just a little further apart. So if he was here, you know, if we're really close, and if we stretch our arms out but never let go, that's what's happening here. And then if we're liquids, it gets a little more complicated. The physical handshaking is a little bit more complicated. But then when it's a liquid, those forces are weakened even more, and then they're broken completely, hands let go, when it's a vapor. So down here, the reason the temperature stays constant is any extra energy that wants to heat it up, it can't be heated up. It has to be used to melt whatever ice is left. Because right here, this is a term we learned in lab, if you're on those lines, so if I'm right here, solid liquid gas. If I'm right here, in between both, what's that called? Lexi, with me? Good. What's between those two lines? What's it called? Freezing. Freezing or melting, what's that called? Someone said it. Equilibrium. What's equilibrium? Two things happening at the same time. So right here, what two phases are in equilibrium? It's solid, liquid. So I have solid with an arrow going to liquid, liquid going to an uh, arrow going to solid. So as long as there's solid present, that temperature cannot rise. And then the same thing happens up here. You have liquid, double arrow with a gas, equilibrium if it's boiling. Now assuming it's a sealed container and there's a controlled environment. In real life, it doesn't always work perfect. But it will work every time, melting and boiling, never goes up. It always stays flat until it's all melted, always stays flat until it's all boiled, and it's just vapor. So I'm going to move on past this because uh, we're going to learn more in lab, but I needed to explain this a little bit before we get into table um, T equations there, the heat formulas. So I will come back to this in lab. First, we got to finish, finish this. Uh, where are we today in your lab? There. We just... Did we graph this yet? We sketched it. We sketched it. Sketched it, but we didn't actually graph it yet. Yeah. No, 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 no. Who's there? Yeah, Look, yeah, well, let me answer my question. I asked if I had left. I'm going to hammer that out today. All right, here we go. Look at the heat formulas. How much time do I have? Good. Look at the heat formulas. There's three of them. What's the first one? Anybody? Q equals? M. M. MC delta T. I was about to say A. I that was an What's a. the next one? Uh, you know what? Uh, leave oh. um, leave a, a couple spaces there. Next one. M H F. Leave a couple spaces. Q equals M H V. Okay. So my goal here is to explain these a little bit today. Start practicing using them, doing some calculations. Uh, but you need to learn about this big C first. Anyways, get those down. We have a couple spaces between. What does M stand for? Mole. It says it right on. Oh, mass. Mass. <laughs> okay. So M is the mass for all three of these. Oh, now, man. luckily for you guys, the Regents is always talking about what? So these formulas are used to calculate Q. What's Q? Heat. Heat or energy. Right. So Q is heat or energy. Take either one. So, the first thing I want you to connect here is Q and delta H mean the same thing in this class. So, when you looked at table I and there's negative 890.4, positive 53, whatever, that's delta H, that's the change in energy, those reactions either give off or take in. Well, when you have water heating up or cooling down, freezing, melting, boiling, whatever, going through phase changes, that's what these three equations are for. Your answers are going to be in joules or kilojoules. The units are exactly the same. So Q is heat. It also means delta H or energy. It all means the same thing. So I just, sometimes I'm not very clear with that. Kids get really confused. They think it's completely different things they're learning about. This Q is from heating and cooling water, physical change. This delta H, table I, chemical change, but it's all the same energy. Just trying to explain that a little bit. Just like if I burn methane or burn a banana, it's all energy. Doesn't matter. Can you heat your house with oil, coal, wood, gas, whatever? Bananas. It's all energy. It's all heat, right? So it's all the same thing. All right. Uh, what's, uh, what's C? Specific heat capacity. Specific heat <laughs> capacity, right. We're going to talk more about that specifically. Uh, what's delta T? Change in temperature. Change in temp. 
That's always final minus initial. Always final minus initial. I'll stress that again later. The delta T is always final minus initial. Always. Uh, what's HF? Heat of fusion. Heat of fusion. And in parentheses, next to fusion, I want you to put melt or melting. In chemistry, fusion means melting for now. After Thanksgiving, it'll mean something else. Great. Right now, fusion means melting. In HV, heat of vaporization. What, Paul? Vaporization. I said vaporization. Can you say vaporization? Vaporization. Vaporization. How do you say it? Vaporization. Yeah, I'm not saying that. Vaporization. You can, you can speak. I, I, I feel like vapor, 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 we're being <laughs> spending time on something that's inconsequential. All right. So, um, so fusion means melting. Vaporization means boiling. When you vaporize water, you're boiling it. You could argue and say, well, you could evaporate. Yes. But in this case, I'm telling you vaporization, vaporization is boiling. It's important to memorize that. HV means boiling, HF means melting. Okay. Now, just for fun, because this is lots of fun, go to your heating curve that we just sketched in our notes. Mm -hmm. And I want you to pair up with somebody. And in the margins of your notes or scrap paper, somewhere on paper, I want you to assign an equation, Q equals MC delta T, Q equals MHF, Q equals MHV, to each segment of that heating curve. Because that's why I started with the heating curve. You have to understand, sometimes you use Q equals MC delta T for heat equations, sometimes you use QMHF or MHV. It depends on where or what water is doing. Is it solid ice? Is it liquid? Is it gas? Is it melting? Is it boiling? So, pair up with somebody, write those down. Somewhere on scrap paper. So you would say, from A to B, I would use this equation. From B to C, I would use this equation. From C to D, from D to E, and then E to F. Tell me what equation you would use for each segment. While you're talking, I'm going to talk. So, if I wanted to calculate how much energy you need to melt water, which one would I use? If I needed to calculate how much energy needed to boil water, which one would I use? If I wanted to know how much energy it takes to heat water a certain number of degrees, which one would I use? I'm kind of doing this open-ended on purpose. So you four are just walking with me independently, is that what's happening? Yeah? And when you guys get answers, please share them with each other. Why keep thinking that triangle from A? It's really a It's It's neither a triangle nor an A. It's not a triangle. What is that? Delta sign. Which is technically not a triangle. It's a mathematical function. So it looks like you won't have homework. Sorry about that. Oh, oh, 
All right. You guys are writing good stuff. Here we go. Let's wrap it up here. From A to B, who has it? Kayla. M delta A, no, no, whatever. M cat? Yeah. M cat. Very good. Yes. Who has B to C? Morgan. Uh, Q equals M H F. Very good. Who has C to D? Murphy, got that? Uh, Q equals M C delta T. M C delta T. Good. D to E. Who's got this one? Excellent. MHB, and then E to F. Sarah. Same as this? Yeah. Try again. MCAT again. MCAT. Okay. It's okay. All right, you're good. Why are these three the same? It's just a phase. It's a phase. The temperature is changing. The other two don't even have T in them. Why? There's no temperature change. Right. I think that's good enough for today. Me too. Um, you will have homework on this stuff due Wednesday. So no homework due tomorrow.